Hello guys, today we're going to talk about the Genting drawing pad. Now I already opened the box, the box uh, set everything up so we can just start. First of all I want to show what's in the packet. So I have this USB micro USB cable to connect the tablet to your Mac or Windows tablet. We have a little bag with different tips and a tool to replace them. We have this pen, a palm rejection glove, some paperwork, user manual and instructions and stuff like this, a cleaning cloth, which is quite good, and yeah, that's it. Now, this pen requires a AAA battery, which is not in the packet, at least it wasn't in mine, which we replace like this. Now, the top of the pen feels like quite cheap plastic, to be honest with you. It's not very premium feeling, and as you can see, it's a bit tricky to get it on, and makes unpleasant sound. The bottom of the pen, same cheap plastic. This one is better. Frame is metal, and yeah, so let's do it. I downloaded the driver already, which is this thing here. So you can configure left and right button or the pressure sensitivity, as you can see. Um, screen settings, some other stuff, but we are not going to do this now because you can download it and take a look for yourself. Now let's draw. So we switch it on by pressing this button here, like a normal pen. When you're not touching the tablet, is it on? What's happening? Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's on. I just can't see it. Yeah. Whew. That scared me. So, <laughs> you switch it on by pressing this button just like a normal pen. When you're not touching the tablet, it serves like just a mouse cursor, as you can see. And when you touch the tablet, you can start drawing. It's pretty sensitive. I'm not sure. I don't have a professional image editing software, so I can't really show you the pressure sensitivity and stuff like this. But I can show you the basics. Uh, you can configure the buttons, button 1 and button 2, or whatever you want to call them. In my case, when I press the down button, it just uh, deletes whatever I already wrote on the screen, or draw on the screen, and I didn't configure the other one. Uh, on the tablet you will notice these little dots in the corners. So by pressing each of these dots, this is going to send you to the corner of the windows. Currently opened, the window currently opened. Like this. So it sent the mouse straight to the corner of the screen. As you can see, quite good. Oh, I don't want Netflix, thank you very much. So, so far, I'm quite happy with it. Let's see if we need the palm rejection glove. Uh, not really. At least not with my hand. But maybe for some people it will be required. It works nice, uh, pretty much straightforward, just connect it. And if you want to reconfigure the buttons, download the software. If you want to leave it as it is, just start using it really. Now let's draw something. I'm going to show you my fantastic drawing skills. Where is it? There it is. So let's draw a person. With curly hands. In the belly. There you go. What do you think? Amazing drawing, isn't it? Oh, a nose and a mouth. Some hair. Great, fantastic job. Well done me. Anyway guys, that's, uh, that's the Kenting drawing tab. All your questions you can ask in the comments as usual. And I'll be more than happy to perform any tests or answer your questions if I can. I'm going to add a link in the description with the current price and the current listings for Amazon. So we can take a look yourself and decide if you want to take it or no. 
in my opinion it's good the exact model is Kenting Waycard K5540 and you can download the driver from their website which is uh, kenting.com slash driver and then you can use it to configure the pen apart from the cheap feeling from these plastic bits there and the battery not included in the packet it's quite good I like it let me know what you think guys if you like this video hit the subscribe button and the like button and that will help us to make more videos for you Thanks for watching as usual and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.